you send the screen. Yeah, we'll just find the point what I am giving here generally. So today we are learning called RDBMS concept. RDBMS is nothing but a relational database management system. Okay. So which companies are using? Which platforms are using? Okay, here you can see SQL, like Microsoft SQL, Microsoft SQL Server, we can say, like Oracle, the very famous, and MySQL also very famous, and these all are using RDBMS concepts. RDBMS concept. So it is called a, uh, it, when it is creating, they are calling it is called a relational model. Relational model. That's why it is called a relational database management system. Relational model. I will tell you how it works. Generally, data represented in rows form in RDB. Like I said, ID, customer ID, customer name, customer name, and customer mobile number number and customer purchase amount pm and customer value i can create a table like this now their id is one customer name is from abc customer name is from 0001 customer purchase amount suppose some uh, 15k and customer value is I'm giving the rating. I'm giving it an A rating. So like this. So generally data represent in the form of rows. With the one customer, the ABC customer, 001. One minute. No? Sorry. So like this, we are getting the data. So here, in relational, in relational database, we have several tables. We have several tables like table one or table two, table three. Then what is tables my here? Tables is nothing but information. Again, table is nothing but information. Information in form of rows, form of rows and columns. Tables is nothing but so table one is a different information, table two is a different information, and table three also different information. Okay. Now every table, now you want to merge. Now you want merge all these tables. Now you want to merge all these tables. by using a concept called by using a concept called primary key remember this we'll discuss later this primary key this is a long way to have to discuss 
primary key. Okay. In RDBMS, we generally represent data into a rows and columns. So we have many tables. Table one, table two, table three. Now, if you want to add all these tables, you should use a concept called primary key. What is mean by primary key means? Suppose, uh, assume like this: you have a group of three batches. You have, okay? When three batches you have, batch one, batch two, batch three. In batch one, there is a captain. There is a leader will be there. Batch two, one captain, one leader is there. Batch three, one more leader is there. You want to combine these all three batches. First, you have to discuss with your leaders, right? Then leaders will go to and discuss with their the participants. That means every table there is an important unique value is there. Either it is a uh, row, either it is a row might be, or it might be a column, or it might be a row value, or it might be a column value. That means there is an important, there is an important value will be there in every table. Okay, that means you while creating a table only you will fix that. Okay, this is my important value, and that important value we are called is uh, called primary key. This is just in uh, this is just an idea, but we will we will have a separate session on primary key and foreign keys. Okay, you will confuse if I teach now, but you want to match all these tables, you have to use a primary key. That means I can you can't match table one, table two, table three. Like Like table one plus table two plus table three, you can't match like that. There is a specific rules applicable while you are matching table one, table two, table three. three. Any doubts? Till now. No. All right. Yes. In a relational database, we will have some terminologies. Okay, we will have to have some terminologies. Now consider this. In this, what is the columns? Tell me what is the columns names? What is the column names? Tell me. In this, what is the column names here? ID, customer name, ID, customer number. C name, C number. Yes, very good. ID, C dot name. Any other name for columns? Variables. Uh, variable. Variables not. Variables means it can vary, na? Column name is fixed. We are not varying. Attributes. Yes, attributes. You can say attributes. Or we can say fields also. Fields. So that is the first one in RDBMS. So I am teaching from very scratch. Okay, try to get the uh, logic behind the RDBMS thing. And next, we have a concept called rows. Okay, we have a concept called rows. Our rows, you can say, our records, you can say. Or tuples, you can say tuples also. Rows or records or tuples. So what is that? One comma A B C comma like zero 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 one comma fifteen K comma Y. So these are the rows and records. And we have one more term called. Degree, degree, degree in your table. Okay, degree in your table. Now, for degree in your table, how many columns are there? How many columns are there? And that is the degree of that table. How many columns are there? The number of, the number of columns. Is called degree of a table. So here number of columns equal to four. Number of columns equal to four. 
then degree equal to 4 degree equal to 4 any doubts ma till now so now I say I mentioned uh, many times table, 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 right? So we will write what is table definition also. What is table? So table is a table is a collection of collection of data values, collection of data values. in the form of um, collection of data values um, i can write table consists of consists of columns columns and rows columns and rows now the column a column has has information of every record column has information of every record a record a record is a data value, a data value or entry, or you can say entry that exists in your table. This already you know, anyone can tell what is table means, but it is in a some prescribed manner. You have to dictate that if anyone asks. Table is a some collection of data values. Table has columns and rows. A column has the information of every record or rows you can say. Every record, every record or rows. So this is regarding about table. So we have a table one, table two, table three, and we can so finally a RDBMS, a RDBMS is defines, it defines relationships, relationships in the form of, in the form of tables. Okay, the tables are related to each other the tables are related to each other so you know what is the table and you know how to match the tables by using a primary key we, can, we said but we'll discuss that later primary key what is a foreign key but rdbms means it has a relation between the tables okay so we can say primary key and uh, uh, related to each other we can say some uh, based on based on some common data point then immediately you have to get the strike of this joins okay you need to get that uh, join kind of you have to get that like this This is one circle, and this is one circle, and this is A, and this is B. If you want to join, based on some, some common point only you can join. And this is nothing but a common point. In our mathematic term, we will write A intersection B. The common values will come. But in SQL, we have what? Tables. 
table one and table two and we have to add this table one to table two here also same concept we call we can call this is called joins and here also we can what we can say it is join only okay everything is same concept now whether you go in mathematics or you going to come sql you want to merge something means you are joining that that means in the joining also there are many types will be available in the joining okay you want to join only this part when you join like this you will get only this point will come or if you want to join like this only this point will come or if you want to join like this entire part will come these are some names will be there right so you and you have to join that is a left join and right join or full join you you can talk but whenever you want to join means there is a, some common data point should be there and that common data point should be defined by a primary key or foreign key remember that any doubts no if you have any doubts you can ask me otherwise we can very good now you want to do some operations you want to do some operations kind of uh, in rdbms uh, what operations you are doing in rdbms you are talking about what first step step 1 you will create a you will create a database data this and step 2 you will create a create a table and step 3 you will add the values okay add the records okay add the records add the records or rows into the table based on specific column names and finally step 4 you will um check you will test whether whether your table exist or not and this four steps this four steps can use for create a tables in any database so these are the steps ma first you will create a database then you will create a table then you will add the records and rows into the table based on the specific column names then you will test whether your table exist or not okay and you can create many tables that is rdbms right in rdbms you have many tables forget about uh, you want to join you want to merge that is forget about because you will learn that later first the basic part in rdbms you have many tables then how can you create the tables and these are the four steps the step 1 create a database step 2 create a table and step 3 add the records or rows and step 4 you will test whether table existed or not to do all these things to do all these 
four steps you need what you need some language some language and that language we are called sql structured query language structured query language i hope you got an idea now what is rdbms what is there in the rdbms and how you are going to now sql now dbms rdbms sql okay sql is nothing but is a language structured query language so like a python like a c language it is also one language so in any language in any language in any language you will do many operations you will do you will do many common operations common operation what are the common operations suppose if you see c if you see java if you see python okay it's the programming languages okay these are the what programming language in this programming language you can create a uh, functions you can create a conditional statements conditional statements and you can create a uh, loops and you can create a objects these all things okay you can create so in c you can create these things and in java you can create these things in python also you can create functions conditional loops and objects but what is different the syntax is different syntax is different everything is same everything is same if you learn one language very in correct manner in other language automatically you can learn because only syntax is different the logics will never change logics will never change never change only syntaxes will change in the same way also it is also one simple language for this language also you will have some syntax you will you will learn some syntax simple how to write how to write so sql is not a come like is not coming from where it is not a rocket science it is also one simple language very very simple any doubts now I hope no doubts, right? As of now, it is clear. If you have any doubts, stop me, and you can ask me any doubts at any time. If you are not understanding, you can stop me, and you can ask me to repeat again. I will repeat that. Okay. Now we will talk about SQL now. So SQL. So can anyone tell what is the definition of SQL? Any textbook definitions you do you know already? My name is Karthik. I think SQL yes. is a structured query language. Yes. Which is used to, uh, which is a syntax used to query the database tables, mm. Uh, mm. rows and columns. Mm. Yeah. Is correct only. Any other answers? Okay. Now tell me, is SQL a is SQL can be a database? Yes or no? Put your question answer in the chat box. Is SQL can be a database? Yes, it can yes. be a database. 
then how it should be a database so, so it's an gather of database where we use uh, structure query language to pull the data and it can be used to create a database i'm asking a yes, question yes yes uh, uh, like to create we use sql no so while in the first class we were taught as like we used hmm. to create tables to collect the data we hmm. insert the data hmm no no i'm asking yes. a question i'm asking a question well, okay so sql is the tool to you create the database ah Okay. SQL is tool to use to create a database. It is not a database. Okay, okay, fine. SQL is a language. That's all, Lena. I mentioned here. Yes, yes, yes. SQL is a simple language. That's it. To create a database and pull ah. the data. See, RDBMS. What are there in the RDBMS? Tables are there. Okay. What is the mm -hmm. first step is? You have to create a database. Yes. Second step is what? You will create a table in the database. Third step is what? you will add the records or rows into the table and four step you will check whether your table exists in the database or not and these four steps you will use to in the any database to create this what have to use sql simple structured query language i hope it is clear now for everyone yes it's clear <laughs> very good very simple first is the one top is uh, top is like this okay. <laughs> so you have a here is called database the entire thing is a database inside database what you will have you will have a table 1 table 2 table 3 like this suppose the table 1 t1 T two, T three, and each table you have again. There is a, some process will be there. That means there are some columns. The process will be. You have to create the columns, and you have to add the values. create some columns add some rows now the first step is what create a database and second step is what create a table now third step is what columns and rows and this entire process will happen in a any database t1 t2 t3 there are many tables you can to perform all these operations, you need what? SQL, Structured Query Language. So just give us, uh, uh, I had a doubt. Yeah, tell me. So is SQL the only language which can be used to create a database or there are other languages as well which can be used to create a database? Can you create? Uh, can you repeat a question? Is SQL the only language which can be used to create a database, or are there any other languages that can also be used to create the database? Uh, like uh, uh, SQL is a uh, as of now is the relational database system. SQL is the only thing that is the thing. SQL is the only language. Uh, but but the same SQL is a transcat SQL. You have. And you have a MySQL, Postgres SQL, Oracle SQL. The names is there, but structured query language is the similar. But every uh, what can I say? Some Oracle platform is developed from Oracle SQL. Okay, Microsoft SQL is Microsoft SQL. 
that's the name it will change but this sql that concept in the sql is similar only so basically structured query language is one of the only languages which is used to create a database or uh, regardless the other names like oracle yeah. and mysql or something as such yes yes okay thank you but there is a slight uh, syntax difference right uh, syntax different is there mysql if you go it is different and microsoft sql will go it will be different some syntax but but this updations creations deletion and if you want to where class if class if you want to do that count and everything joins operations and that syntax is will be same uh, but uh, when you call when you have a different databases if you want to call one database that syntax is different okay so this sql is the top and you have to go for mysql some slightly syntax different is there ms sql some slightly syntax different is there but they will develop at their own one once you learn any one thing is enough no need to learn all these things because 80 percent is similar only nothing change okay they will create their own purpose like oracle sql is a different from microsoft sql server and is different from mysql so every company is creating their own database engine and there uh, there are uh, uh, different way of calling the uh, initializing the databases only that is different but the basic queries is same for everyone next any doubts till now still no. yes so we'll just come to this sql i'll just give the definition so first of all sql deals deals mm, with relational databases only other databases that uh, mongodb like no sql kind of it will come that database and next thing is sql is used for uh, manipulation of uh, tables like uh, you can create a table create or you can update your table or you can delete the tables as well as database and records also tables you can manipulate and we can manipulate the records also and the <coughs> sorry and the very very important thing is you have to remember this sql keywords keywords are not case sensitive okay not case sensitive like suppose if you want to there's a keyword called create you can use capital create or small create both are okay fine so it is a case sensitive not case sensitive that's the first point and next point is some databases some databases requires semicolon semicolon after sql query some databases not okay some databases is uh, required some databases is not suppose in microsoft sql you no need to apply any semicolon like suppose you you retain here some statement create database some test database and you can apply colon like semicolon if semicolon you can apply or you don't apply that is based on some database so now everyone has own database kind of so this two things you can uh, remember this okay so some database systems require semicolon at the end of each sql statement some databases not required a semicolon and 
SQL uh, statement, so this is not a case sensitive. We can apply a capital create on small create. I hope it is clear. Everything. RDBMS and basic SQL thing. Now we will know yes. Okay. Now open MS SQL now. Microsoft SQL Server or uh, Management Studio. We will apply all these five things, five steps or four or five steps. So when we click on, you will get SQL Server Management Studio. Ashim, Ashim, right? Did you resolve that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It got resolved. Uh, Ramya? Hi, Omkar. Yeah, uh, I have installed, but I think I'm getting issue with the uh, NMP oh, okay. node. I have installed Node.js as well. Yeah, JavaScript, yes. Uh, and uh, that's where I am, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. And then when I'm giving MySQL, MS SQL, and hmm. the password it's saying command not found Achha. so i'm stuck there command not found ms sql okay when i'm starting trying to start the server so it is like a install but uh when you are huh. uh, yes. yeah because i didn't have node.js i've installed that uh, hmm. client is installed but when I'm trying to start the server, uh, it's saying command not found MS SQL. Okay. Hmm. Then how can we figure it out? <laughs> how will you uh, practice that? I will try. I'll see what it's. Uh, I'll try to sort it out. Any of your uh, friends are using Mac? Only some less people will use Mac. Yeah, I think one more person is using but i'm not sure he's yeah. still using that uh, just connect with him and uh, just uh, sure sure and one more uh, some two three people are joined with mobile phone yesterday so everyone is installed right Yeah. So now just connect ma. This is the server name is there. Just connect here. Yeah. Everyone just connect. Yeah. Just click on the new query here. Um, uh, Mr. Romkar, uh, you know, uh, I'm just getting an error message about uh, yesterday. I just downloaded everything very, went very well. Okay. Uh, saying that Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio, mm -hmm. something, uh, no, I'm just throwing up an error, error message when I, I you know, uh, enter the server. The... Yeah. Ashim, uh, what, how did you figure it out? Can you help to? I, sir, I uninstalled the whole. Um, SSMS and I reinstalled that, but Ashim it's on also, window. Ashim also getting the same error, ma. Who is that? Uh, actually, who is getting error now? Uh, Minak here, but yeah. yesterday I did very well. You know, it is all connected, everything I got it. But today I'm just running it out, and it's, I'm not able to get it. Uh, can you go to here once connect? Uh, uh, you cancel that. Go to here connect and just check once. Okay. Uh, database engine. 
after going to database engine you will see any other servers are available if this server is express server for me if it is not available for you browse for more and again click on the database the plus term is there if you check any browsers are there is anyone facing the same issue other than meenakshi no I mean, actually, try to figure it out. Uh, meanwhile, just uh, prepare yeah. one some code. Yeah. First, we'll uh, thing is we will create a database. That's the first step. Okay. So I will just uh, dictate here also. Meanwhile, so what we will do is for every step, I will write a syntax and I will a code and we will execute the code the same there. And by end of the today, you have to make the everything, the steps we followed today. And you have to create the end to end process you have to show to me. Okay, that is our goal. So, step one create, create a database. Created database. I'm coming to syntax. Coming to syntax. So I already told you it is a, not a case sense to and no semicolon is required for this. Create, create database with a database name. Or you can view like this. Semicolon, not semicolon is not a matter. Here in MS SQL, just like this database name. So this is the syntax. And the code is you can do create database, and you you can give any name. Okay, I will give some uh, test. Okay, test DB. I will give what test DB. Test DB. So we'll go to here. So create CREAT. Create. Now you see you will get in a color called blue color thing. It is create database test db can give colon or not colon is not an issue when it is coming you go to here and execute when you execute you will get command completed successfully and the completion time you will get so this is the first step create database test db and you will see what database section is there. OK. And under, under your server name, laptop, SQL Server Express server name, you have seen databases. In databases, you have a test DB database will be available because you created just now. You created a just now. Test DB is available. Please note down this.
sorry omkar uh, omkar yeah. ji uh, can you show me uh, how uh, the database we created hmm. how we can show us the command is executed okay database snapshot yeah yeah you will get a if it is executed you will get the database uh, name the test db database will come right but that test db database will come when it is executed If everyone is run, right? Everyone is executed. This is a simple command. Yes. yes. So what is the next step? Step two. Create a table. Hmm. Create a table. Step two is create a. table now you can you can try with uh, add colon semicolon okay i try with semicolon also some people okay explore yourself it will it will work don't worry that okay now create a table there is a uh, uh, thing is called again uh, syntax syntax like create table create table this some table name this some table name so in table what do you need to get in table in any table values yeah tell me who is that column ashim yeah tell me ashim uh values oh you are saying on the row Uh, not values it, you have to column column but sir any table you want to create you need to get apply the columns to create any table to create any table you have to make sure with columns ready and columns and also data type data type of columns data type of columns you already know types of data right data types can anyone tell what is the types of data data types integer and yeah integer character variable character yeah variable variable is not a data data variable is a variable only right a is equal to 10 a is equal to 10 a is a variable a is a variable but what is 10 like integer 10 is a integer like kind of okay integer type character type float type okay float type so here there is a separate session is also there for uh, data types data types in sql okay but here we have to learn we should not wait to to learn that data type so we will what i'll tell is we have a char type we have to write as a var char okay okay var char remember this char is nothing but a var char and integer nothing but a int int only okay integer nothing but int type so while you are creating a tables column names you will get to know already these things these are the very minute things data types because you already learned the data types many data types you already know so that's why i'm not concentrating on to teach this data type 
so when you create a table you need to what ma you need to make sure with your columns ready and your data type also so create a table and table name and uh, you have to write your column 1 okay column 1 and your data type data type comma column 2 data type comma column 3 data type and so on and close you can apply a semicolon that is your wish very simple create a table and that one So uh, create a table. Uh, create now. We write a code for that. Create table. Same. Create table. Create table. What is table name? You can give any table name. Okay. You can give employee or customer. Generally, uh, for practice version, we will do this kind of things, right? Employee or customers, or some store orders, that kind of thing. So I write employee. bracket the first column column name is called id id should be what which data type id should be id is 1 2 3 type so that is a int type int okay comma name name is what type string character type what is the character var char you can mention your length also generally the 0 to 2 power uh, Y to two power sixteen, two power twelve. That length will be available, right? I hope you know that length, double, float, kind of int. So zero to two fifty five will do two fifty five. And next, uh, if you want to mention any city, we'll mention the city also. Go air care two fifty five because city also is a character type. And if you want to mention some salary, it is a integer type, fifty thousand, sixty thousand. That's it. And mention the commas, and you can close semicolon. Okay. And we will implement this. And before implement this. you have to you have to suppose assume like this many databases are there test db database is there there some customer database is there some orders database is there some store database is there suppose in your in your databases there are test db be created tomorrow you created customer and tomorrow you created orders store bank these are many databases you will create and then you want to create a table name called you want to create a table called employee table if you want to create employee table you will write a create table name employee then how can you know this table is belongs to which database how can you know how can your platform will know how can your microsoft sql server knows this employee you are creating a table name uses any which database either it is a test database or customer database or order database or store database bank database which one okay you don't know right that is don't know you have to tell i want to use test db database i want to use customer db database i want to use order database you have to say that to do that we will use a syntax called 
will a syntax called use database name use database name simple okay that is nothing but a use test db use test db then your table will go to the test db database is that clear any doubts in this clear right yes do we get a break for 10 minutes who is that servant is out we have only two hour session we want 10 minute break uh, next class no that is fine that is fine right now yeah next class we will see okay sure, we will sure. take 5 minutes break sure. don't worry so uh, generally okay. yeah Uh, I can't see the you know the VNB create the database uh, mm. as my name, but mm. I can't see in the the MS uh, MSQ. Uh, refresh this. Refresh. I already tried to refresh it, but it still is not showing. Okay, then uh, I will give you a host and just share your screen. Uh, uh, actually, uh, tell me what happened. Uh, no, actually, uh, I'm, uh, the lecture is running to, uh, in my mobile, and I'm doing it in my oh. laptop. Oh, what you will do is, uh, you take a screenshot for that. Okay, okay. okay. Take a screenshots. Uh, we will uh, ask to our coordinator. Okay, if you have any doubts, whenever you will get any doubts, how can you contact me? Okay, I will ask the coordinator to make one platform. Okay. Okay. We can okay. we can chat and we can do that. All right. No worries. Thank you. That is that that is standard. So so now I create a database. I have one database is there. Now you what you test is you create one more database and you will start writing doing that and you will get an error. Okay. So that you can elaborate. That we can search tomorrow in the first session we will open and we will create a table directly and it will show the error because. we are not tell which database we will use okay that also we will do now you will write use use test db use test db and then create create table employee Employee ID that is int name bar cap Okay, name is taking some keyword. Okay, don't write name. You are seeing a blue color. Everyone, create table while you are writing. Blue color is coming. Where get blue color is coming? The blue color or green color? Blue only. I hope so. So name also coming as a blue color. That means it's a keyword. Okay. So don't write this. Uh, what you write is uh, customer name. You can write C name. Now city, fair care, two fifty five, salary end. Call. I will remove this and I will do okay. But we already created this now. Whether it's taking error or don't know. We'll just remove and just do this. Okay, we'll just execute this. But it's completed because we already taken this. Okay, we just now created. That's why it is taken. But actually, if you are not giving, it gives the error. Okay. Use test db. Now it's already created table. 
now go to the test db and go to there the tables mm, refresh this okay it is not taken but command success Yeah, you have to you use TSTB. That's why only come. Because it is not coming right, but it should take the error because only one database is there. That's why it is not showing the error. Error should come if you not give. But it's okay. We'll figure it out. That also. Now just click on this. Click on columns. You'll see the columns ID, integer. Null. You have not mentioned anything. A name where care. you can select and you can run okay if you want if you have many things are there and you can select the specific one and you can run all that's option also available you can do this and you can create this is getting an error see there is already an object named employee is there in the database because we run we ran this you want to create one more table you can change the employee one or employee two and you just run only that and it will run okay that is nothing but a step two sir i am unable to refresh in my sms it's loading it's taking too much time internet error Server is not connecting properly, my dear. And it is getting crashed also. <laughs> Who is that? Ashim. Ashim. Should I reinstall the again? What is your uh, OS? Windows OS ten or eleven? Sir, sir. Your OS. OS. Ah, uh, OS. O operating system. Windows. 10 sir 10 10 upgrade to 11 na there are many good features are coming on 11 but uh, okay we'll try that hmm. why it is a uh, for you and meenakshi right the previously sir working good but after uh, yesterday uh. installing sometimes because uh, this is connect to servers right it happens to me also whenever i open i connect So sometimes server will not connect, and sometimes it will uh, uh, strike. It all the things will happen. No need to reinstall again. Okay, just to uh, close and give some time. Just try it. It will open. Okay. That's happened to me also. In my table, it's uh, showing some error. Incorrect uh, mm -hmm. syntax. Uh, incorrect syntax. Name of mm. student. Yeah, student Any... roll number. Student uh, roll number. I put int int, and so, uh, after that student name. Per correct fifty. After that class uh, int and city. Per correct it's fifty. But other I don't know why it's showing error. First one is a uh, second one is only name or any other name you given like C name I given first uh first one is student roll number mm. it's called uh, int uh, I and the student name 
but hmm. name is coming in the blue ha ah, that only i told you na i i stress that word only so name, name is ah need... uh, name is a keyword whenever it is coming keyword okay okay you you need no need to give the name if that i want to put a name uh, i want to put a column for the name student name or employee name so i don't want to put that or how can i yeah, name that? only specific name you should not put because uh, the name whenever it is coming a blue color that is a keyword keyword should okay. not use as a variable so it should be in the blue color okay make some hmm. uh, add some some characters in front of that like the And the way you have written is like where care two five five fifty five. So, uh, what is that? That is the size, but then uh, that is the length, um, ma. That length. means uh, two power seven. You know, zero to two power seven. In C languages, we learn in the college days that the length by byte length, bits length uh -huh. kind of thing. Okay, so this is not like the maximum number of characters allowed. This is. Ah, yeah. uh, so like that one. Ah, uh, that only two fifty five characters you can attach. That is. Okay. But who will write two fifty five characters? No, <laughs> no, I understand. And uh, generally, so that we will give like a precautions we will provide, but no one will write two fifty five characters, right? So, so that is a habit yet. Everyone will write two fifty five, but uh, we will not write that much length of characters. That is a, exactly that is a length of characters. Mm. I hope the error is resolved now. I think so. That is name error, right? Jay, I think it is work for you, right? Uh, no issues, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> I am able to connect to this uh, application also. Hmm. Yesterday, Nana, for you also, right? Uh, Omka, I Nana, padala. Uh, I tried to install and do it, uh, but I'm still facing the issue. So I'm working on Achha. that issue. Okay, okay. Don't worry, that recording session will be available. Okay. Yeah, next one. Step three. I hope everyone has completed step two. I'm going to step three. If you you can stop me if you want. Insert records. Insert records. So you can insert records. Uh, there are two ways you can insert the records. uh that is a wave one wave one you can apply specify the only column names and the values okay specify the column names and the values what are the values you want to implement that is good specify both the column names And column names and the values to be inserted, and the syntax we'll use inside the records is insert to insert into. Insert into. This is a syntax. Insert into. So I will give a syntax here. Couple of syntaxes I will give here. Insert into capital or small? No need. Which table you want to insert? What is the table name? Okay, table name. And then, how many columns you want to insert the values? Column one or column two, and so on. That many columns you can use. Close the bracket. Okay. Then come down. Values you will write. Values. Simple. Value one. Value two, and so on. So automatically, it will take column one, 
column one will take the value one and the column two it will take the value two because you mentioned exact the column names and exact the values you mentioned so whatever the column names you mentioned that only columns it will take suppose if you want to give the column 10 here and column 10 value will go to the value 2 column 10 value will go to the value 2 like that so this is the one syntax insert into table name column 1 column 10 values value 1 value 2 the way to another way to way to you can give uh, all the columns all the values at a time uh, uh, without giving mention any columns okay if you want to adding values for all the columns this is only for specify the uh, columns right suppose if you want to adding adding values to all the columns no need to mention the columns no need to be mention column names directly directly give values directly give the values that means insert into table name is must ma table name is must then down here i am not mention any columns okay values value 1 value 2 Value 3. How many columns are there? That many values you have to provide. So we'll add two syntaxes again here and here. And this is the first one. And this is the second one. This one. so insert into table name insert into table name if you want to give the specific columns give the specific columns and the values if you want to add the all the values into all the columns no need to give specific column names I created a, a, one database and the table and the record also I inserted. But then mm. in the uh, object explorer in the right hand in the left hand side window, right, I don't see the you table. Can, no, you can't see that. No, you can't see that. Okay. We have to print that. You have to select and we will see that. okay so i'm i'm reviewing this so use test db i am writing this is the mashma use test db next you have to insert the columns so insert the values insert into observe the blue color that is a keywords 
employee in the bracket id and next is c name and next city next salary and then values so first value is 1 that the integer value second one is what more where care right where care should be in the strings this is the name some x y z comma city is coming like suppose mumbai salary is a integer 50000 we will say this id c name city cell can execute this so what it's saying one row affected is completed it will not come here we, we can't visible this yeah so we see right dbo dot employee table but i don't see the table i created here in my window so dbo dot employee is uh, you are you able to see the columns id c name city salary no just refresh this yes i did multiple times that means table is not created or what for you uh, when i ran the query that create table uh, it created successfully record also i inserted i, oh, I could see one row hmm. jay oh. Yeah. Okay. Let me uh, just others uh, note on this, please. In meanwhile, Jay will share the screen. We'll resolve that issue. Give me one minute, ma. Please note down this, everyone. next insert into i'll give employee only values 2 comma again i am writing x y z only comma chennai we will write comma 60000 will write so here i have not mentioned any column names but i am giving all the values if i run only this i can run this okay then one two values will come but if I write, if I click enter execute, again already one row is created, again one more row created, again another created. Total three rows will be created now. Okay. Observe very carefully. If I execute entire thing, already one row affected, then second row will be created with ID 1 and third row will be created with ID 2. If you avoid that, select this and run this. So again, one more row affected. So one and to write this so i am giving host to jaya please share your screen i think i did not write the uh, i ran that not run the command correctly so uh, you said that, uh, that we should have to write the database name also right yeah database name also use the shape. yeah so i did not do that now. yeah do that so i showed you now the... i also avoided uh, the same thing and i showed you it is not created and it's created okay i will tell you yeah, you want the command again yes i will give the command create table create table and table name you are taking employee or whatever it is you can take yeah. em employee bracket 
ఫస్ట్ కాలమ్ నేమ్ ఐడి ఇంటీజర్ కామ సి నేమ్ ఇట్ ఇస్ అ వేర్ కేర్ టూ ఫిఫ్టీ ఫైవ్ అండ్ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ఇస్ వాట్ సిటీ Yeah. Uh, this part I did, but like the part where we write the database name and the table, where do we, mm. how do we write? Uh, 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 you have to select this and you can run. Oh, okay, used as DB. Okay. Mm. Used as DB. Simple. Okay. So, okay, the creating table, insert, insert. Anyhow, we can select and we can run. Okay, that's why I'm writing everything here. Thank you, I see, and I see it now. Yeah, good. So, next one is... Step four. Everyone is completed, right? Not now, I'm doing. Yeah, please. Uh, I want to ask you, every time we need to put the values, or write the value in one column or... Uh... in go in value in uh, one uh, bracket then uh, comma then second ah, values and third you, values we can do that to, as well yes yes you want to insert a many values you can write like this in one go right value yes. and comma then second value third value yes. fourth value exactly. in the row exactly exactly we don't need exactly. to put every time the value value exactly i'm writing that also actually i want to give assignment to you like i want to see now but you are asked that question <laughs> okay so i am writing suppose a not a we'll write some name and some write some name is called guru comma hyderabad comma some 75k comma okay next you have to put the comma again one more value 4 and we'll write prasad we'll write bangalore come we'll write this so i'm selecting this i'm running so two rows affected So total four values will come. So two row, two values are there. So what is coming? Two rows effect. So please note down this. You can, this is the first step, like a way one, the second way, or the third way. You can insert many values at a time. yeah final one
step four. So we can we can print the table. So it's a very this is very famous ma by using select. Very famous this is select. Okay, many times we will use many many times. So with the select command. So there are again two ways. One is way one. If you want, if you want, see all the columns data. You will let select star. Okay, select. to start from table name table name way to if you want to see only selected selected columns okay Then select instead of star, you have to provide the column one, column two. Column one, column two. Again from table name. Okay. First thing, if you want to see the select star, star means all. If you want a specific column, column one, column two, you have to give and name the table name. now we will see it select star from table name what is the table name employee employee so i'm just selecting this don't run again ma again it will create all these things select only this and execute see there are four values one Two, three, four, X, Y, Z, Guru, Prasad, Mumbai, Chennai, Hyderabad, Bangalore. These are the values. These are the all the steps. Suppose if you want to select specific columns, select. Suppose ID, C name. from employee then select this and run here want to run again to select this run this so relation database database we have to create table you have to create you have to give the column names and you have to insert the records you can insert the records in many types and you can see the you can retrieve the data instead of print you can say retrieve can i share my screen is it possible because i don't know uh, incorrect text puja puja this side yeah 
Uh, three that is a uh, syntax near three it is coming right so you have to mention the comma yeah. after 1600 bracket comma there are three values are there right so you yes. have to separate the separate the tuple into comma so after 1500 yeah. you given comma yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yes incorrect uh, again incorrect Okay. Insert into ID ename. I think you are using the same database, right? Values. Hmm. It is coming at uh, one. Okay, one dot one here syntax line ten one. Uh, remove the space ones values after bracket after values after values i will say it again yes now it's yes yeah, completely but yeah. now in my database i have made this study, uh, mm. refresh, refresh refresh where is my refresh it refresh it once yeah there's the option of the refresh uh, you did not mention use test debut or what? Use puja. In yeah. the above, in the above, yeah. Uh, just uh, make one more line, enter there, uh, there. After 200, um, enter, enter it anywhere. Whenever you want to write a new query, enter, yeah. Use, use. I think I did not see the table also. I did not see the table also. Okay, remove there. Remove there. Uh, you have to create database puja after that use that create database okay. puja after that use use puja yeah puja pboj puja uh, remove the first line remove the first line you already database created right now without any confusion remove that as of now once you will get a clarity you can add now or select all and you can run Two hundred int comma not two hundred int. There is no need to give two hundred value after int. What is the two hundred? Remove the two hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, extra one more. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Now run it. Yeah. Now refresh it. It will come. There is after connect also, there is a refresh button is there instead of going there. This one? Uh, connect after connect. Object Explorer in the top, your left side, top. Object Explorer, mm -hmm. uh, that's the refresh button. Yes. Yeah, you just uh, press it, click on, you will see the column names you can see. Columns, yeah, columns. Yeah. Okay. Now, yeah. Let's stop the share the screen. Okay, I'm sharing my screen. So after that, you have to select. Sir, I'm getting one error. Ashim. What error, ma? Mm. So write these two comments. Select column short name, comment. Yeah. Column name or number of supplied uh, values does not match the table definition. Column name. Uh, have you given the proper column names? How many column names you provided? Five. So your call your table has five columns? Yes. So your values also five values are there? Yes, I think. No, 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 no. I got the problem. Mm, yeah.
Uh, now we created this employee table. If we want to add one more column, can we do that now or it is not allowed? Uh, that we can learn tomorrow. That's all. Okay. We can do that. We can retrieve and we can do. We can update anything. I hope everyone is, uh, till now everyone is uh, good, right? Everyone is able to do create and everyone can do that, right? So already time up. So we can continue uh, tomorrow. Mr. Yeah, Mr. Yeah. Omkar, I can just, can I share my screen and I show you that, you know, because whenever I click on new query, I'm not getting anything. Who is that? I'm Minakshi here. Okay, uh, please share the screen. Pooja Meenakshi or uh, only Meenakshi. Okay, uh, wait, wait, I will give the search in you, Meenakshi. Yes, yes. Echo, co host, I will give. Yeah, share the screen. Uh, this is my screen, you know, Microsoft SQL Server mm -hmm. Management. Mm -hmm. Click here, yeah. new new query. Yeah. Nothing is happening. It is not connected at all with server or what? I'm not able to see anything with the connect option also. In the file, connect. Connect object explorer. In the file, connect object explorer. It's happening just now or? No, yeah, from the beginning, I told you that some error has come and it, it was not working. Achha. Maybe I have to install again, uh, delete everything and install. No, you close this and wait for more some time, like 20 or 30 minutes. Again, open that. If it is same, persist the issue and you can okay. do the same. Okay. Sometimes it will be like that only. Okay. Okay, thanks. Okay, so I'm just stopping the record.